The sandstorm is on. Drivers in the blind. Red Alliance trying to place that first hatch panel. Successful by the cleaners. That was Red Alliance 4376. That's the use of their vacuum pump. Love watching that thing work. Down on the Blue Alliance. We've got 4398 going for that cargo. Let's see it. Oh, and it is in the cargo hold. There it is, 4398. Drops it into the Blue Alliance cargo hold. Meanwhile, their partner, 7808, heading over into the HAB zone, picking up another piece of cargo, heading back towards their cargo ship. Let's watch, notice, can they drop it in there? They seem to make it right back in. We're up to two on that side. So far, the Blue Alliance is looking pretty strong. On the Red Alliance, we're about to watch Zebrotics from Leland. They do, they drop it right in the red cargo ship. Despite being having a little bit of defensive play by 3302. In the loading zone, working with their human player on the red rope on the red alliance. We've got 6600 trying to pick up that ball. They've got it heading back out towards their cargo ship. 6600 quickly dropping off that cargo, heading back towards the human loading zone. Interacting with their human space cadet, trying to pick up that second piece of cargo. We've got Blue Alliance 4398 sends their cargo going sideways across the landscape. In the loading zone on the Blue Alliance side, 7808 moving their arms slowly, trying to take on that piece of that hatch panel. Can they pick up that hatch panel? Meanwhile, midfield, we're getting some defensive play. In the final 20 second end game, T minus 15 seconds. Two of the red Alliance members have made it back. Two of the blue Alliance members have made it back within the safety of the Hab zone. 3302, a little misaligned. Can they get there? It looks like they've made it. All six robots in their Hab zone. Final score. Red Alliance takes the win, 43 to 36, earning themselves three ranking points in the progress. Congratulations.